Hello everybody, Sega here, coming to you with a review! Man, we're finally getting to some reviews, that's awesome! So, um, Walmart and Target have been getting remodels, and surprisingly, um, yesterday when I went to, um, the stores, they had a pretty good amount of stock in, which is great! Glad to see when the story shelves are nice and stocked with stuff. Still no Spinosaurus, though, which is unfortunate, but I did find this! Uh, Ellie Sattler, which is amazing to do. It, <laughs> uh, it took me forever to find this one. Um, they had a whole stack of Muldoons and Allens. This was the only Ellie Sattler, and um, you know, my main reason for getting this is to complete all the copies, really. Um, <laughs> but um, again, just to have a, the whole gang together. And um, Malcolm is not out yet, but we'll definitely be getting him. So like, let's take a quick look at the box. So here's a look at the front of the box. Um, comes with a copy of uh, Ellie Sattler and a flashlight, which is cool. Legacy collection. And on the back of the box shows a little image of the actress right there. The camera will focus. There we go. Along with an image of the toy. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell, but if we look at the image of the actual toy, all right, and then we look at the actual figure, there's quite a difference, I think, in the two. I don't know. Let me know. Do you see a difference in the actual toy and the image? Let me know. So pretty much to get these open is pretty easy. You just pull the tab right there and pop it right open. And it comes right out. There's no um, binders or anything holding it in here in all annoyance. So we'll get Ellie Sattler out here. Here's a little thing. A flashlight. Then we'll get the little copy. We'll take a look at the copies um, in a minute here. We'll just put the copy over there. So let's take a quick look at Ellie Sattler. So here we go. All right. We'll take a look at the face sculpt. If the camera will focus. Focus. Yeah. Let me put my hand behind it. There we go. There's a nice look at her. Um. Yeah, pretty good. Um, I like, I like it. Looks pretty good. Pretty, you know, looks just like, you know, <laughs> what she's been wearing. Um, you know, head articulation, 360, so you can spin her head all the way around if you want to. She does have arm uh, articulation, so up here in the shoulder, she can go in and out there. She can do a 360. She does bend at the elbow. Uh, elbows also rotate 360 around. No hand articulation. Um, <laughs> Get that back in there. Um, she does have a waist swivel. Her legs can do the splits. Um, she does have knee articulation, and I believe those can spin as well. Um, no feet articulation, but there we go. So, yeah, I mean, all in all, not that bad little figure. Um, that sculpt looks pretty good. It looks looks kind of like her. Um, better than the other two. I will say Ellie Sattler's got the best uh, head sculpt out of the, all the rest. All right, and here's a little look at the um, little flashlight. Eh, it looks good. Um, pretty silver right here. A little bit of paint splosh right there, but nothing too bad. It um, does look pretty cool. I like it. Very nicely little detailed. And I, she can hold it, so we'll just pop that onto her hand here. I believe she can hold it. <laughs> there we go. So there we go. She's got a little flashlight, which is cool. All right, so let's put her back there for right now, and we'll take a quick look at the copy which comes with her. And I'm I'm really happy that Mattel includes these guys. They're quite expensive to get online, so to get some brand new copies is great. Um, this the detail of this guy is pretty plain. Um, see if we can't get a good focus on him here. There. Um, the head sculpt. I mean, it is pretty detailed. It's just a pale green color. Um, but it would have been nice to see, um, like, detail that they put into the bigger dinos, into the smaller ones, because that would just make them amazing looking. Um, that would have been really cool if they did that. But, you know, for what it is, it's not that bad. It's a pretty cool little figure. Um, very bendable. Um, and of how, you know, you look at the back of the box, it shows you how you can position them on. And this one goes on the arm, so if you want to, you can take it and put it on the arm and have it biting her face off just or getting her neck right there just you know if you want to and then if you have the other copies you can put them all over her you can put 
one there. You can put another one on her leg. And have her just getting ripped apart by copies. <laughs> and if you have, if you get, you know, um, Malcolm, who also comes with a copy, you can have four copies. You can build an army of copies, which I, it's a pretty nice deal. You get a dinosaur and a toy, which is, which is pretty sweet. I like it. And we'll take a look at all three of the copies now together. So, um, the one that came with the set is this one. Um, so I'll get the camera repositioned so we can take a look at the little guys. And here we are down as close as I can get to the carpet. So here's the three copies. Um, the one that came with Sadler is this one right here. Um, I believe this one came with Alan. And this one came with Muldoon. Um, but yeah, they're all, they all look good together. I mean, they're all the same colors. They all look the same colored. And um, they're all quite good detailed wise. And they all are bendable. So you can get them all um, positioned here. And if you do have dinosaurs, these you can also put these on dinos. So you can have them attacking like a dinosaur if you want them to, if you feel like it. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet little group of copies. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and get to comp um, compare out. We'll just put Ellie Sattler with some others really quick here. We'll get them all lined up here so we get a heads. Um... Here, let me. Eh. It's quite difficult, but we're going to get. There we go. Focused on their heads here. So we'll take a look at all three of them here together. Um, yeah, I see, I, again, Ellie Sattler looks m most like the actress from the film. The, these other two guys, uh, I don't know. The head sculpts aren't that great. I mean, Octagrant looks good enough. I mean, it looks okay. Um, would be cool if these guys' hats could come off, but they all have the same articulation. And um, we'll see how they scale in size here. So let me just get them all up on this little um, platform right here. And there you go for a little stand with all three of them right there. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Right there. And for a little copy size comparison, they're like that. So that's pretty sweet. Also, for just for fun comparison, here's an original Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. And you can see. Quite good size right there, about almost covers, a little bit longer than them. And just for the fun of it, here's the Carnotaurus put back here. And there's a nice size comparison with the Carno and the three individuals here from the first movie. Um, a great, um, a final verdict really. I mean, it's pretty cool having all of them, which is great. Um, can't wait for them to release the other, um, uh, guy, <laughs> um, Ian Malcolm. I hope they release, like, all of the characters. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty fun. Um, yeah, but, so that's the main three that have been released. Um, it took me quite a while to find her, but finally I got her. Jeez, it took forever. <laughs> but, um, finally, there she is, and she does fit pretty good with everybody. And, um, so there. Yeah, this has been a quick review of, um, Ellie Sattler, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one, and goodbye.